What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Bridge Garage and today we're going to be looking at Duromax new 274cc engine. This is what I call the medium block engines. The, the medium, it's not a small block and it's just like the first step in big block. So this would be the perfect uh, example if you're wanting to upgrade from a 212 but you don't have room or you don't want the weight of a 420 or a 440. So this would be a direct competitor to the GX270, which is the Honda variant in their like eight to nine horse engines or a 301 Predator. So Duramax is just coming out with this engine to compete with those engines. Uh, I get a lot of questions online about what big block I would go with on a mini bike and this would be it. I don't like a 420 or a 440 on a mini bike, especially because we off-road ride ours and trails and stuff. And what I found is a 420 or a 440 is just so much weight it's hard to sling them around and it really becomes tiresome and like especially in races i would definitely want if i was going with a big block and wanted that torque of a big block i would go with something around this size if you don't want to go with the the you know normal 208 or 212 cc from duromax so this is around 41 pounds dry weight right out of the box so that's no oil or gas in it uh, it looks to be a hemi head i've never looked at one of these out of the box we just received this in to look at it uh, duromax has a lot of engines coming out and they have a lot of engines available you can get their 420 their 440 they have a 208 a 212 they have the dual fuel engines in both small block and big block meaning you can run propane or gasoline they also have their uh, big v twin engines their 713 cc and then their 999 cc engine and they do have a 500 cc big block in the works right now it's already on their generators our xb 13000 hx generator has that 500 cc engine and uh, we're super pumped to get that because we're going to upgrade our twin engine go-kart which has two 440 cc engines with two of the 500 cc engines and then eventually hopefully be able to build those up uh, one thing we're going to do on the channel later with this engine is we're going to see if the gx270 parts work on it like the billet rod the flywheel and stuff because we have no idea i've never looked at this engine so uh, it's pretty exciting to unbox it and see what it's all about uh, we do have discount codes from time to time throughout the year and uh, sometimes they're 10%, sometimes they're 20% off. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to make sure you see those discount codes and you can save a big chunk of money on these engines. So real quick, the horsepower of this is 9 horsepower and then it's 12.1 foot-pounds of torque. So that's like you took a 212, took the governor out and put a good carb on it and stuff. That's the kind of power you're going to get out of the box at 3,600 RPMs with this engine. So I would assume it would make even more if you revved it out to five. But, uh, you know, my saying is do not uh, remove the governors unless you're putting a billet flywheel on these engines. So it's going to be interesting to see if uh, there is a billet flywheel that fits this engine and rod, cam, stuff like that. So let's get it unboxed. All right, so we have the 274 out of the box. You can see that it's a, just like I was saying, it's a medium block engine. They've done, this is a whole new block. I've never seen an engine like this. Like the side cover, if you look at it, looks the size of a 212 or a 208 cc but the jug is the size of you know close to a 420 like it's got a big girthy jug onto the block uh, so it's a lot of different stuff like the key switch is really unique to this engine and the valve cover is i've never seen a valve cover like this we're going to go ahead in this video though and pull the side cover to look at what the cam looks like if it's a plastic cam gear or a metal cam gear and then we're going to also look at the valve train to see if it's a hemi or a non-hemi style valve train setup um, with the engine, of course, you get an owner's manual, you get a funnel, which these funnels are super handy. You get a spark plug tool and you get a eight, a combination eight and 10 millimeter wrench and you get a Phillips and a flat screwdriver. These little tool sets are actually really handy to have on your mini bike. When we go on rides, someone's always tearing up and needing to use some tools. So the fact that they throw a few tools in there is pretty nice. Um, like I said, this is the electric start variant. So you can see the starter. It does come with battery leads. They're about, you know, 16 inches to two foot long, uh, the hot in the ground. Uh, so if you had this on a log splitter or something like that, this is a perfect engine for a log splitter or some piece of machinery like that because you can get a lot more power and still almost fit it in the footprint of a 212. We will put a 212 uh, up against it uh, here in a minute, like put them side by side to see the different sizes in block. We'll put a bone stock Duromax 208 right beside of it and see how much bigger this block actually is. So let's get that valve cover pulled off and we'll see what the valve train looks like and then we can pull that side cover and see what the guts look like. So you can see the valve train is really close to a 212 size. These are a little longer rockers than you normally see, but there's a lot of space in this valve cover. 
Uh, it's a really unique style. I've never seen this before. It does have the automotive style keepers on the valve ends, uh, which is a lot nicer than the standard push down and move to the side of valve spring retainers. So I'm gonna, it looks a lot like a 212 size. You know, like the 301 uses big block parts. You can use like a big block valve springs and stuff like that into it. Uh, but this one seems to be 212 size. So this is more of a, this is a unique approach that Duro Max is in. This is like a small block with a lot bigger jug onto it. But um, nothing special in here. Rockers look about what you would expect in a non-Hemi style engine. So I'm not gonna know if this is a Hemi until later when we break down this engine. We're gonna break down the non-electric start to see what the combustion chamber looks like, what the piston looks like, and uh, stuff like that. So uh, it's good to look at that real quick. It's a big, beefy jug onto this engine. The valve cover has a full baffle system so you won't blow oil out there. It's about your standard, but it is an aluminum valve cover instead of your stamped steel. So you have the governor gear on the side cover just like a big block. And how a governor works is when this comes in contact with the gear of the cam and speeds up to 3600 RPMs, those weights will sling outward, which pulls back on the governor arm that pushes on this governor arm located up here on the block, which pulls back your throttle. So that's all a governor is doing. It's just a mechanical, you know, inertia is slinging these weights out, which pushes this little cap right here out and pushes on this governor arm right here. And that's all it's doing. I did not rip the side cover gasket, so that's nice because I'll be able to reuse that because I do not have an extra side cover. It looks like it does have a metal cam in it. That's what I like to see. I do not like when these engines come with a plastic cam gear. So it's nice that Duro Max went with a, uh, a metal cam in it. Uh, it will be nice to, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the cam right here and see, and it's, what's funny is the cam gears the gear on the crank that drives the cam is actually straight cut gears. Uh, that's different to see. If we look at the block size to the jug, the jug is massive on this engine. And that's where the real power is coming from. I mean, that's that's a normal side cover size for like a 212. Then you have this huge girthy jug on it. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be a real competitor for a good mini bike power plant because of the fact that it has this massive jug on it the block is supported up here with this webbing and it's just a real beefy engine. Like I didn't know what to expect getting this thing in the mail, but I'm liking it quite a bit. I do like how the governor's easy to pull out when they're in the side cover. I just take and on the back side, you can see that it has a pin located right there. If you hit that with a hammer, you can knock it right out. And then a quarter inch uh, bolt will thread right into it. You don't even have to tap it. It'll cut its own threads and that aluminum. So pretty sweet internal. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this and see what size this is. This could use a small block cam, but the only difference is, is a straight cut gears. It's the only thing that might hold us back on a cam. So 550 thousandths is what the cam is reading, uh, which is a little bit bigger, if I remember, than what a 212 is. Double check my numbers here. Yeah, 550 thousandths is what the cam is reading. So I'm gonna have to do some research to see what's gonna fit that. Um, but pretty exciting, especially if we can find a company to make a cam for this engine. It'll be really awesome to uh, to get that made and really do some performance testing. So guys, that was the 274 unboxing and first look. Um, if you notice when I had the side cover off, it does say Ducar in the block. So this is a Ducar engine like the Predator Ghost engine and the Tiltson 212 comes from Ducar. So it is a Ducar block. I will note one thing that's interesting. It has a 25 millimeter crankshaft. So if you was to use something like a 780 CBT on it, this has a one inch shaft hole in it. Uh, it does have some slop in it, as you can see on screen here. So I did contact Duromax and see if they could fix that in the next batch of engines, maybe make it one inch. So as of right now, there's not gonna be a pulley off the shelf that's gonna just work on this. You might be able to shim it up, but you're gonna need about 1.5 millimeter shims to fit in there to take up the slack. Uh, that is unfortunate. Maybe it was just something because the Chinese factories use a lot of millimeter measurements 
and maybe that's why they went with that so i am checking on that so stay up to date when we do pull this engine apart i am going to wait until they confirm that they can get that fixed because that will be an issue for some people but if you look at it on the table here here's the 208 cc then we have the 274 and then we have the predator 301 which is basically the same class of engine and you can see that it's quite a bit bigger uh, the side covers are a lot you know it's like it's basically the perfect in-between engine from a 301 and a 212 or a 208 uh, it was really interesting to see all three of them lined up here it's just the growth of the engine and a 440 is even bigger than a 301 and a 420 is as well uh, so it's pretty cool how they went right in the middle it's not a small block it's not a big block but I do think it's gonna be a pretty sweet engine to have on a mini bike. I am gonna see if there's a possibility to uh, get in a cam for it. It does have really close to the same size cam journal as a 208 and a 212, uh, having that 550 thousandths of an inch uh, journal size. So we'll only have to see if they can make that straight cut gear. And uh, that's the hard thing with a new engine is getting companies to support it because it is very expensive coming out with a uh, new tooling for a billet rod and stuff. So. I'm interested to find out what parts fits this uh, in a later video. So let us know what you think of the 274cc engine. Would this be something you would get? Of course, if it had that one inch crankshaft, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna build a mini bike soon with this engine. Uh, I am gonna, again, try to get them to make the next batch with one inch crankshafts. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna come up with a solution for this uh, since it does have that slop in there. But I think it's a really interesting engine. I always love unboxing new engines and taking a look at them. Uh, because I'm just so interested in these small engines. They're so fun to mess with. And uh, yeah, that's what we do here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the video description. And uh, thank you Duramax for sending this engine out. We'll be showing more engines that they're coming out with very soon. And we'll be building up the 999 CCV twin on the channel very soon as well. So thank you guys for watching. We love you and God bless.